<gasps> hey, it's me, Jay Evans, with a serious question. Have you all had a chance to see some of the most shocking moments out there? Well, if you have or if you haven't, guess who has you covered? Me, Jay Evans, okay? I pulled some of the old. I pulled some of the new. I pulled some of the in-between, baby. I done dug and scraped like they scraping all three of your credit reports and you like let them approve me for this damn car, baby, because I need a ride. I got you covered. Now, some of the people um, that we have clips on, oh, yes, we got clips. Good ones, baby. Even a couple of pictures, too. And some of the people we're going to get into is Trick Daddy. <laughs> okay, Trick. K. Michelle, Wendy Williams, DJ Cali. <sighs> okay. And a couple of just random everyday people from everyday walks of life. So, you know what? I got my um clips. Oh, yeah. I got my notes, baby. I got my notes, too. I got my note cards. Y'all know I love my note cards, baby. Okay? Um, I even got my damn clipboard. I'm ready, baby. We about to do this. Wait a minute. Before we chop it up like veggies in a food processor for your Thanksgiving dressing. Hold on. Let me give this disclaimer because we talking about some people in here that are famous and I ain't got time for it. Okay? Our topics are alleged and allegedly, baby, okay? Uh, this is strictly for entertainment purposes. I don't know if some of this information is true. I don't know if it's false. It is alleged and allegedly because the only thing I own outright, if you try to come for me and sue me, is this rolling pen, okay? You see this? I like to roll it out sometimes and bake my stuff. And guess what? <laughs> you can't have it. Now, you can have this little uh, rested thing I rested on, but you can't have the whole damn pen. Now, once I use it a couple more times, then I'll send it to you, and you can have it. Now, we are about to get into this moment, and if you are not one of my Apple Pies, those are my subscribers. Go ahead and subscribe, baby. Set your notifications so we can stay in contact. Feel free to like, share, uh, comment in the comment section. I read y'all comments, baby, if you agree with me. If you don't, because guess what? This is America where you can run your mouth, baby. So sit back, relax, get your wine. I got my wine. This is Manny Chevy. Shout out to my friend, Shanika, my bestie. It's some good wine. If you don't drink, um, you got your soda, you got your water, you got your snack, you got your food. Sit back. Relax. We about to get into it and chop it on up, baby. <laughs> we got a lot to discuss. I got my clips. Y'all ready? Let's talk about it. <gasps> hey, it's me. <gasps> it's me, Jay Evans. Yes, it is. <gasps> you know, it's me, Jay Evans. Now it's time for us to talk the talk. Let's get into this episode. That's right, y'all. It's me, Jay Evans, and it's time for us to talk the talk. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We are back, and I'm about to get this countdown started, baby, with moment number one. Uno. Uno. That's one, baby. Look, I just took Spanish in middle school, high school, even college, baby. All I can do is count the five. Unos, dos, tres, cuatro. Y'all didn't teach me nothing. They're talking about learn how to conjugate the verbs in Spanish. I barely can conjugate the English verbs. Okay, whole nother story. Now, this moment to me is like a classic one. I don't know if y'all seen it, but guess what? You're about to see it now. Um, I call it Church Lady, Mother of the Ursha Board. Y'all take a look and we're going to come back and discuss. Get them, sis. Get them. Tell them. Will you please stop balling up and falling up and so we can't even figure out what it is? <laughs> it's going to be a dollar just laid out in there. It's all right. It won't hurt. Our we had to go to Family Dollar and buy our, buy our iron. The iron out all the dollars because we can't even tell what they are. I work in the trustee ministry and uh, <laughs> we're trying to go to Golden Corral too. By the time we iron out all the dollars, everything is closed. We, and we don't even cook on Sunday no more. So just lay it in the plate. It's still going to be a dollar. Amen? Amen. Come on, y'all. Let's just get along. Come on. Help us out because we ushers. We ushers. Amen? We're here to serve you. And no. Uh, Though our suits may be white, 
And we like to keep them white. We will help you to your seat and get on our knees and help you. But if your children eat them little nab cracks and them juicy juice, we is saying you better bring a bib with your child. <laughs> you better tell them, mother of the Usher boy. She tired of y'all. Bring a, a bib or a napkin. Your children putting the nab crackers all on the floor and they got to vacuum up and stop balling up y'all dollars. They know it's a damn dollar, baby. You done went out to the club and paid 40 and $50 to get in and bought Hennessy and Coke and everything else, but you want to put a dollar in church? You should be ashamed of yourself. Touch the screen and agree. Bam! I done blew it on up, baby. That's it, and that's all for that moment. She tickled the hell out of me, baby. I think that's the oldie, but a goodie. I go back to that one and laugh every now and then. <sighs> now, this second moment. Baby, I don't know what to say. Who raised some of y'all? Why? You know what? I can't even put it into words. Now, this moment, um, I don't know if she was digging for gold. I don't know if she... Remember back in the day when older women would put, like, money in a bra? Well, I guess she got a different spot where she put her money. I don't know if her thong is riding up on her, but this moment is called Butt Digger with a side of smelling sauce. Y'all, see it for yourself, baby. And we will come back and discuss. <laughs> Let's go to it. Do did y'all see that moment? <sighs> I'm speechless and I got a big mouth. I'm always running. The only thing I can say, sis, why would you do that? You didn't have to do that. I don't know if your thong or your panties or you might have stuck your cell phone in it. Maybe you were trying to steal a cell phone. Did you place a cell phone in you? Did you place an iPhone or a Samsung Note in you and you're searching for it? Let me tell y'all something. That's why when people cook and have events, you can't eat everybody's cooking. Now, I'm willing to bet you she didn't even wash her hands. You got your... Get you some hand sanitizer, baby. That's why in the store you can't even touch stuff. Because people like that... I, I got to rub it on my hand because I feel discombobulated. Now, she's searching for gold, and what is you looking for in there? She'll be the first one to talk about, I'm going to make the potato salad. I'm going to make the dressing. And people do nasty stuff with their food. Now, she probably, that same hand, she probably stirring up in that dressing and putting it on the pan. We got to do better. You, you know what? I'm doing a citizen's arrest. I'm going to have to turn into Bernie fight for some of this video. I got my flashlight on you, sis. I'm doing a citizen's arrest. I always say that like Lynn Whitfield in a Josephine Baker story. Y'all remember with Lynn Whitfield? Handcuffs, baby. Sis, we need to lock you up and put some Clorox on that nasty part. What was you looking for? <sighs> Okay, y'all, so since we left off with her acting like she was looking for a pot of gold, um, maybe I can't even get the handcuff off. Let's roll into this next moment. Now, this moment is from <sighs> Trick Daddy. This moment has been going around. I thought I would give it to y'all. Y'all say what y'all think. Now, there is a picture that goes with this. It's self-explanatory, baby. Um... You know what, Trick? Let, let's just go to it, okay? Yeah. So is Eat Booty Gang still in effect? Well, I, I started, I, I, I built, I'm building, I'm building, I'm building <laughs> franchise. A so, so it's the Eat a Booty Gang. I'm building a franchise up now. I, I, now I'm getting the women to support the Eat a Booty Gang. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, talk. Wait, wait, who is it? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. wait when you say women to support the Eat Booty Gang, you're yeah. saying women is eating the booty? Yeah, women oh, eat the on. booty juice. Wait, 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 what? Yeah. I don't know whether to make noise for that or not. Yeah, I get eight out. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> I get eight out. Listen, man. Check this out. All right, Trick, you don't have your legs in the air, though. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to think. Y'all, 
I got the handcuffs off of me. Trick, we need to put them on you. You out here, let me say, now that y'all saw the clip, that was from um, Drink Champs, okay, with Nori, Noriega, y'all remember Capone and Noriega, he has a podcast with um, DJ EFN, and Trick told that moment, now, if you want to express yourself, I'm all for expressing yourself, some stuff you shouldn't even tell, okay? Trick, you out here acting a bunny hop, jackrabbit fool, not even the delicious Nestle, but I shouldn't even say that with this reference in that picture that, you know what, some things you can keep to yourself. It's okay if you want to tell some things, but some things we need to um keep to ourselves. Now, this next moment, baby, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. Um... This is truly a moment for the kids, okay? Now, when I say a moment for the kids, I'm talking about the kids. The L B uh, G T Q L M O P. Why are y'all putting these more all these letters on here? Now, back in my heyday, we were just L B. No, no, no. L. I had to write the letters down, baby. L G B T. Okay. Y'all see, I don't even keep up with the letters, baby. I'm 40. I ain't got time to be adding all these letters on. On Sesame Street, they don't even go over all the letters in one day. Y'all up here putting all these letters in. I ain't got time for all these letters. Then y'all want to uh, say, well, I don't want to identify as him or her. I'm they. I'm they. What is wrong with y'all? And I can say that because I'm part of the community. God doing too much. Y'all act like everything got to be labeled. Everything got to have a letter. Baby, I ain't got time for this. You saw I barely could count to five in Spanish. Okay? Now, um, this moment is from one of the kids. Okay? That's what we used to say. One of the kids in Atlanta. Now, y'all know Atlanta. Y'all, I like Atlanta. Um, Atlanta has some good food. Um, and Atlanta also has a lot of foolishness too baby now um this moment right here uh this man i i don't even know what was going why why would you do this you brought this on yourself now this is um moment number four trick daddy was number three this one is trade action gone wow baby now if you don't know what a piece of trade is back in the day we used to say it like oh he real masculine he got his head flipped to the back and his pants sagging and he got on a white t-shirt he bought from the gas station and he in his Impala, that's Trey because he got rims on his car and he playing his little rap music. Well, this is trade gone wrong. You know what? We gonna watch this and talk about this because take a look, y'all. Y'all do the most in Atlanta sometimes. Some of y'all their own home I just knew i was gonna die this man grateful to be alive doesn't want to show his face but wants to share his story i drove down peach tree he was walking down peach tree he flagged me down i pulled over i thought i knew him but when i realized i didn't we got into conversation it happened last week and the man says he was dressed as a woman at the time once they got back to his home nearby they eventually went inside for a drink and that's when things turned dangerous he came out the bathroom, put the gun in my face, told me to get on the ground. So as I was going to the ground, I grabbed the gun and we tussled. But then he slung the gun out of, like, away from me and started hitting me with it. The victim put up a fight and the repeated blows to the head required seven stitches and caused four facial fractures. I give you anything you want. Uh, anything you want. The video shows the fight wasn't over just yet. I just decided if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. So I got up and I ran towards the door, opened up the door, he followed me out. The victim says the alleged gunman ran back in the house, locked the door and took off with his pit bull puppy named Buddy. The victim also says he's shocked this happened, especially after revealing what he does for a living. But to assault a federal correctional officer, I wish nothing but bad for you. Nothing but bad, and you will get it. He's smarter in your decisions. Use use your better judgment. <laughs> Did y'all see that moment? Now, we got a lot of stuff to discuss with this moment. Um, first, to the dude, you out here um, on a get, good ship lollipop, and it ain't a sweet trip to the peppermint shop because you thought you were going to 
slob on the knob and do some other stuff with this gentleman and he surprised you and then you gonna say um allegedly that you're a correctional officer now you didn't want to show your face and your puppy buddy has been puppy napped and you saying um the man should have made um better decisions no you should have made better decisions now i understand people do stuff all the time that's like but you said um you the man flagged you down and then you thought it was somebody you knew so if you realize it was somebody that you did not know why would you take him home and pour out some liquor and you dressed up like bruce caitlin jenner um you knew that, that whole situation you did not know that man you thought she was gonna get you a little nightcap a little red light special and he swung off on you now i'm glad that man is okay i'm glad you know he wasn't severely hurt but you got to be careful what you do now remember back in the day y'all it was just um what black planet and college club now they got apps they got um places where you can go on a stroll let me tell y'all what the for the straight people what the stroll is every uh state city you in has a stroll baby where the kids go and they kind of stroll and the tray walking around and then they out of trade to trade item now they might even pay for services rendered okay y'all probably cash apping in this day and age baby but you know, you thought you were going to have a little transaction. He was going to put his card in your ATM and he, bam, went upside your head and monkey stumped you. Now your puppy buddy is gone. Put out an APB, baby. He needs to get his dog back. And then you couldn't show yourself because you didn't want people to know that that was you because of your job. And I'm pretty sure your coworker, somebody being messed up. Like, girl, did you see him on there? You know that's him. <sighs> get yourself together. If you going to have interactions with somebody do it with somebody that you know and be safe and then it's still covid out what is wrong with you get yourself together okay um and then you in a video you dress that's what it's we got to get it together in the community stop with all these titles lgbt in a bisexual people y'all are greedy okay y'all want the best of both worlds you want the women you want the men you messing up both of their heads and then we on one side of the fence got to deal with your leftovers baby and uh bruce jenner y'all talking about caitlin no i'm not calling him caitlin i'm calling him bruce because as uh him as a woman you still got your equipment but okay whatever and then you with uh uh i didn't even know his girlfriend was a man like him allegedly but bruce this the problem i can't call you caitlin because you more harder as caitlin when you was bruce you was more soft and feminine and as caitlin you rough as a damn rock you supposed to be like a flower and gentle and flowery and you round you like a hard ass brick yo stay away from the kardashian claim baby because this, this is the stuff y'all see how kanye and all the rest of them reggie bush was the only one that left i can't even you know what i need to come now because bruce go on just go on okay y'all um so that was a hot garbage can mess trade gone wrong now we're about to get into moment number five this is a celebrity we did trick daddy maurice samuel young telling his sescapades now we're about to get into k michelle kimberly michelle pay you know what now trick with the eat a booty game k michelle you got your illegal butt implant injection, cement, rice, oodles and noodles, flour, uh, whatever they put in your butt, you gotten it taken out. But now, sis, um, in moment number five, you are becoming unrecognizable. Now, let me say this. I don't think there's nothing wrong with if you want to do, you know, some stuff to whatever you want to fix, whatever you want to correct. But, K. Michelle, at this rate, by Christmas time, we ain't going to even know who the hell you are because... Okay, this clip, y'all, is from her Instagram. Now, 
I had to cut the music out because she's uh, moving to Dolly Parton's 9 to 5. I had to throw in some pictures so y'all could see the progression because she keeps saying, oh, it's the light, it's the makeup. No, it's not. You have a whole new damn face. Are you trying to be in a witness protection program? Because that's from the looks of it. We're not even going to be able to say uh, Kimberly or we Ethel, that's gonna be your new name. Now let's take a look at her moving and grooving with no music because I had to cut it out. I told y'all I ain't got time for Dolly Parton to be Jay Evans. Why am I my song is in your video? I Dolly, I cut it out, baby. Okay. Um, but take a look at K Michelle moving and grooving, and then take a look at the compare and contrast of the pictures. And it ain't the damn mic, baby. You you in the witness protection program. I'm convinced you finna be Thelma from Scooby-Doo. Let's take a damn look. Now, y'all see that moment, K. Michelle, you're not going to sit up here and tell us you have not had anything done, because if you think we believe that, you are more spaced out than Judy Jensen sis. Now, what I'm going to do, like uh, Dean Davenport on The Different World, is if you keep playing these lollipop games, I'm going to put you on my list. What is wrong with you? Look at the evidence. Look, K. Michelle, Kimberly, Michelle, Pate. I'm getting my hand cuffed together, baby. I'm doing a citizen's arrest on you. I'm locking you up because you out here playing these games. Why is you... I mean, you're a beautiful woman before all that. Um, I understand different people got different stuff, but you don't... You know what? It's, it's time to move on, baby. Um, that was Kimberly, okay? Um, we're about to go into our sixth moment. Um, now, this is <laughs> a hot garbage can mess, baby. Okay, this is a young lady. Where is your mama at? Where is your big mama, your grandma? Where is your papa, your me ma, your play cousin? Somebody get her because you acting a fool in these people's store. Like, ain't nobody raised you right. Y'all probably seen this, but if you haven't, let's get into it. Yeah, we got to do better. Right? You can't look on your camera, right? You can't look on your camera. 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 You can't I'm doing a citizen's arrest on whoever raised you. I'm doing two citizens' arrest on you. You get it together. We got to do better, y'all. I came with us. Sometimes we just do the damn most, baby. Um, now this next moment, some. Let, let's touch the screen and agree. Touch it and agree. I'm going to tell y'all why y'all agreeing with me. It's okay to be any size that you are. You're supposed to love yourself if you're big, small, in between, okay? Um, now, I went through points in my life where, like, when you're young and you're like, oh, I'm so fat and you really not fat. Like, the sizes I thought I was fat in, I wish I could get back to those sizes now. The pandemic, you know, a lot of people didn't gain weight. Me. Um, but it's just... Even if you're small, you should not, to me, just 
put all your stuff on display. If you big, if you're in between whatever the size is, love yourself, but you don't have to be out here looking like an irregular um, ham hock. And now, let me say this to the guys, because a lot of times when guys, when we work out, we, we lifting weights, we doing our upper body. Some of y'all forgot y'all got a damn lower body. Okay, so your body on top is looking like an irregular potato, and then on the bottom, you looking like a damn number two pencil. Like this, this, this wine glass with this wine is your top, and this is your damn bottom. Get it together. Now, I'm all for self-love, but um, this is a little bit too much self-love. Um, the ne number seven spot is DJ Cali. Now, this came from his Instagram. Uh, Cali put a caption on there like taken. Y'all know he's married. Um, I'm pretty sure all the ladies are glad that you are taken because even if you were not, I don't think they will want you, Cali. Put your shirt on. Now, he was supposed to be doing Weight Watchers as a spokesman. I guess you fell off the train and derailed, but if you just know your body is not right, just just say no. Just close it up, Cali. <sighs> Y'all, you know, I took, I had to pull the sound off the clip, but I had to give y'all the clip so y'all could see for y'allself. Let's get into it. Khalid Muhammad Khalid. Okay, that is his name. His first name is Khalid. His last name is Khalid. I like to call people whole names when they just doing a little bit too much. Like I call Trick Daddy, Maurice, Samuel Young, and Kimberly Michelle Pay. Khalid, no. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it, Khalid. Cover up. No. You could have just put on like a white beater, a muscle shirt. You know, it was no muscles, but y'all, that brings us to our last moment. Um, this is from <laughs> Wendy Wighead Williams. I call it a fall from grace. And I have a thought provoking question that has been asked through the ages. If a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, guess what? We knew Wendy made a sound, and it was a shock heard around the world. Now, some people uh, allegedly suspected, oh, she's on something, she's doing something. At the time, some people was like, it was her issues with her then husband. She said she got overheated. <laughs> I don't know about that, baby, but they said, allegedly, you might have been on some ski slopes, some white lines. I don't know, but let's take a look at um, Wighead Wendy, Wendy Joan Williams. A lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. <laughs> that was not a stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out. But you know what? I'm a champ and I'm back. Now, y'all heard the guests in her show laughing at first. Now, maybe they thought you were um, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, like the delicious Cocoa Puff bird. Um, but they soon realized that it was a for real moment. And that moment, baby, was iconic because you were dressed as the Statue of Liberty and you came falling on down. Now, if that was somebody else, let me tell you why I'm just like, with Wendy because if it was somebody else she would have been saying oh they were on something they were doing this they got beat up by their man she wouldn't have shown nobody any mercy so when that moment happened I'm glad she's okay but with her I just like because Wendy goes below the belt baby okay she goes a little bit too far but um <laughs> that was the eighth most shocking moments and y'all got to see some celebrities y'all got to see some regular people apple pies i tied it on in together i mixed it on up and i 
shook it on up, baby, like K. Michelle shaking that table with Carly Red. Okay, so we've talked the talk. Now it's time to walk the walk. That's it, and that's all, YouTube. Goodbye and good night. And guess what, baby? If you got some moments you want me to cover, click in that description. My contact information is there. You can DM me on Instagram. That's the quickest way. You can like shoot me the video. You can tell me where it's at. We can chop it on up for some more moments. And y'all go to that playlist and get caught up on my videos of me running my mouth. Y'all stay safe. And if y'all have a moment where it's caught on tape and you ain't afraid of busting yourself out, even send that to me. Bye, y'all.